Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel, teaching you everything that you need to know about customizing your Android home screen. So today's video tutorial is going to be a lock screen tutorial. Yes, yes, that is right. It's going to be an awesome, amazing lock screen. You definitely want to go check it out. But other than that, I just finished my last exam of my entire degree, which means that I'll be able to bring you a whole lot more videos, which is awesome. Other than that, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so in one of our latest icon pack reviews, our featured Umbra icon pack by the artist Ryan M. Kelly, and this icon pack was simply fantastic. So what Ryan has actually done is created a lock screen. Yes, that's right, a very own lock screen that actually looks fantastic. So let's just try it out and see what it looks like. And right here, and as you can see, it's minimal, it's very clean, and it also features that awesome Umbra icon pack that you definitely want to go check out if you haven't already. It's got a very sleek, minimal time and date there, as well as your notifications, and finally, it's got this very nice little white unlock button that when swiped down will unlock your phone. Simple as that. So if you'd like to know how to set up this lock screen, let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing for this very setup. First off, you'll be needing a few apps such as a Super Widget Pro, and I say Pro because you need that Pro version in order to get custom templates on your phone. Next up, you will be needing is Widget Locker, and that is because that is your lock screen app, and it is a fantastic app. I highly, highly recommend it. And then finally, you'll be needing a good file explorer. I always recommend ES File Explorer because it's free and it's very, very easy to use. Once you have those apps installed onto your phone, next you want to check in the link in the description below for the resources that you'll be needing. It includes it's a zip file that you need to either download on your, on your computer and extract using an unzipping program such as WinRAR or just copy it directly onto your phone and extract it using ES File Explorer. Once that's done, you want to open up your ES File Explorer or whatever File Explorer that you're using and you want to locate that folder that you have on your phone. It should be called Umbra Lock Screen. You want to select it now and you want to go in, again into the Umbra Lock Screen folder and you want to look for the two folders one is called widget locker and one is called zuper so the first let's tackle the zuper widget folder you want to go into it and it should contain two zw files those are zuper widget files so what you want to do is hold down on it or each on on each one of them and make sure that they're both selected select copy go back out of everything and you want to go into your sd card directory whereby if you swipe all the way down should have your zuper widget folder right there and you want to look for that folder called templates now you want to select that templates folder and you, all you have to do now is select paste and paste those two files into that folder and they should appear just like that. So that is your Zuper widgets done. Let's go back into that Umbra lock screen folder whereby now you want to go into that widget locker folder. Now it comes with two folders here and this is for two different styles of custom sliders. So I'm just going to be selecting both for now. I'm just going to hold down on each one of them. One's for the slide down and one is for the slide left. You just need to copy those, go back out of everything, go back into your SD card directory, and you want to look for that folder called data. So it's data, and it should have one called com.teslacoilsw.widgetlocker. You want to select it now, look for that folder called themes, and from here you just need to paste in those two folders, which I've done right here. As you can see, they pasted in, and that is all there is to it. So that is all your setup done. Just going to select back now. Also check in the link in the description below for a link to the wallpaper which you also need to copy onto your phone. It is a separate link and make sure you want to copy that onto your phone. Once that's done you have all your setup ready as now we can start customizing that awesome looking widget locker. Great, so in order to set up widget locker, very easy to do. We're just going to select it now and if you have anything on your lock screen you just want to hold down on it, either drag it in the bin or hold down on it and select remove. So make sure that you want to remove everything just like this so you have a completely blank screen like this so once everything's gone you want to look for that little settings button in the top right hand side and now select it from here you want to jump into your look and feel and next you want to definitely select alternative wallpaper from here you want to go select wallpaper and now you want to find where you've copied that specific wallpaper onto your phone so for me I copied it here I just need to select it now and this is make it look good I think that looks pretty good resize it however you want and select OK next up the background tint somewhat important you just want to have it on quite a marginal tint as it just looks a whole lot better for a very minimal screen so I think more or less there looks pretty good so I'm going to select back you want to jump into your layout now and this is quite important if you've just installed widget locker the 
the anchor should be around more or less in the middle. You want to drag it all the way to the bottom. Deselect automatically determine grid size. And now for my Nexus 5 and probably the Nexus 4 users out there, a 12 by 5 seem to work out pretty well. You do want to have quite a low column size right here as that prevents the icons being added to get cut off. So I definitely recommend a low number for that. And I selected 12 just so that that custom slider white icon could be the same size as the ones being added. So a 12 by 5 is recommended, but obviously if it doesn't work, you just want to change it up a bit. Other than that, you want to disable label shortcuts and enable hide notification bar. We're going to be going back now, going jumping into our advanced settings. Widget overlap is recommended because you might need to resize a few widgets over each other. And then finally, you want to go into your home helper. As I know, a lot of people always complain that pushing your menu button in the middle there will just unlock your phone straight away. So what you want to do is enable home helper components. It might bring up an option saying, what you want to choose as your default launcher. Make sure that it's always widget locker and that should be fine and dandy. Next up, you want to enable home helper block home and then finally block home in other apps. And that is it. That is all done for widget locker or the background settings. We're just going to select back now and hopefully it should look like this. And once that's done, we're going to start adding in each one of the widgets. Great, so I'm going to start adding in each one of these Zupa widgets. To do that, very simple. We just need to simply hold down on that home on the lock screen, go select widgets, Scroll all the way down and select Zupa Widget Pro. Now as always, uh, it doesn't really matter what size you're going to go for as I want to be resizing it anyway. So I'm going to start with the clock at the top. So I chose any size there as I want to hold down on it now and select resize. I want to make it cover pretty much the top of the screen and selecting it will bring up your Zupa Widget options here. From here you want to select SD card and you obviously want to select digital clock. So once that's done, I do recommend going into widget on tap action and making it disabled. You can obviously set it to open up your clock, but I don't always like to do that as could add in some unnecessary alarms or something like that. So I'm just going to select back now and it has now been added. It looks really awesome, maybe a little bit too big. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and that looks much, much better. Once that's done, we're going to do add in another Zupa widget. Obviously, you're just going to add in the notifications at the bottom. So any size, let's go five by two. That actually might just work out. So I'm just gonna select it now, go back into my SD card. Now I'll select my notification widget. And that might be a little too small actually, but let's just see, we're just gonna go back. And yeah, that actually is too small. So if I hold down and select resize, it might not even change it at all. So what I wanna do now is select it again, select open. This is the same procedure as you can see. Go back into my SD card back into notification widget and now it makes it look a whole lot bigger. Obviously you can change your layouts and add in some hotspots or change your widget on tap action but I'm just going to leave it as disabled as I don't want to touch anything and just leave it alone like that. So you're always welcome to change it and if you have no idea how to use Zupa widget check in the link in the description below for a complete guide. Once that's done I'm just going to select back now and that looks much better. So all there is left to do now is to add in that custom slider as well as the application icons in the middle here. So first let's add in those application icons. You simply have to hold down on the lock screen, select applications. So let's add in the first one, let's maybe add an SMS. So messaging, well now it's become Hangouts. So I'm just going to select Hangouts now, hold down on it, select Edit, select the icon, select Icon Pack, select Umbra Icons. And from here you want to go look for an awesome... I'm going to go for the Hangouts one. So I like this one over here. I'm just going to select it now. Select OK. And now it's been added in. Quick and simple. Sorry, I just had to resize that a bit bigger. So next you want to add in the next application. So let's go for Phone. So I'm just going to select Phone like that. Hold down on it. Select Edit. Same procedure. Go back into your icon pack. Back into the Umbra icons. And you can just select the Phone and select OK. So I'm just going to do it quickly once again for Gmail. Great, so that's your icons added in. Very quick and simple to do. Finally, we just need to add in that awesome looking custom slider. Great, so in order to add in that custom slider, you simply have to hold down on the lock screen, select custom slider. And if you've done it correctly, if you've pasted those two folders or just one folder into that widget locker folder, it should hopefully pop up here if you select the select theme option here. So that should appear at the bottom. I'm going to go for that Umbra lock slide down one as I like sliding down a lot. So I'm just going to go for deselecting the show clock. I do not need that and that is all you have to do. You just need to select done now. Let's see how that looks. Bam, it's been added. You can test it out, see it's gonna slide down. If I slide down, it'll unlock your phone. So that is your lock screen complete, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let's just test it out one more time. 
and bam there it is so it looks really awesome let's just see our hangouts it's going to select it like that and it's got everything that you need if say you got some sms's and stuff like that so thank you very much guys for watching if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the my color screen channel if you haven't already other than that please don't forget to go check out our social communities such as facebook google plus twitter instagram you name it we are on it other than that you definitely want to go check out our one click customization launcher called thema it is amazing it's still in beta and we're trying to improve it every single day and we need your guys help just to make it a whole lot better and make it probably one of the best launches that you'll ever use other than that thank you very much guys for watching marco here from my color screen channel and as always don't stop customizing